Namaste, this is Mekla here from Puja Stotin. Uh, in this video, I would like to answer the core question that every aspiring couple will ask. Anybody who wants to get married, they have found their life partner. They want to know how important it is to do matchmaking before a marriage. Well, uh, I'd like to say that in fact, although astrology was very prevalent in the ancient times, uh, it has always been such that there are many couples who have just got married because their parents have asked them to get married and then they are actually leading a very happy life. So, uh, not many of them would actually uh, do a matchmaking before marriage in the earlier times because the delivery and things like that would happen at home and they would not know the exact time of birth, they would not know the date of birth and they would, uh, you know, so they would just believe that this would be the probable horoscope and then, so they really didn't go so much by it. But then marriages lasted that time. And the reason why it lasted was mainly because of the core spiritual values that they carried like patience, intolerance and you know giving space for each other, respect for each other, you know these kind of things was there. Already certain family guidelines were laid and they were followed traditionally, the sanskar was followed. But in today's time, how important is it to actually do a matchmaking before marriage? I would say definitely it is very very important. If you ask me why, um, it's only because uh, I have seen over the years people calling me asking for my services on matchmaking mainly because they have seen many marriages suffer. In fact, I have myself seen many marriages suffer because there is absolutely no compatibility and you know um, health issues are a major problem. So many times what happens is after your marriage, your Navansha chart gets activated and when this chart gets activated, uh, the planetary positions are very different in that as compared to that of your Lagna chart. So, what really happens is that you either bring in good luck to your partner and to yourself or it's the other way. So, I have seen many marriages crumble uh, after marriage and their life crumbles actually after marriage and I have seen many people really prosper, flourish and you know achieve great heights after marriage. So, both the things are uh, happening and these are all because of the Navansha chart is one thing. Second thing is the spiritual values that they carry is another thing which makes marriage happen and also love and respect okay and the trust issues so uh, basically when you go for a match making you will know exactly what is the level of compatibility you have uh, wh what kind of love you will have between both of you what will be your health after marriage you know lot of uh, and what will be your destiny like you know tarabal we say so you you get to see whether you are both compatible with each other or not and uh, after getting married what kind of luck you bring to each other that also really matters a lot so all these aspects are seed so what really you can avoid is a mishap if you feel that the match points are very low it's not worth it then you can really avoid it there are many cases where uh, people call me and say they know the match points are low but they are great couple so they are um, already seeing each other, they are very compatible, they love each other so much that they just can't let go. So what do you do at such instances? So that is when we say that do some remedies wherein you can uh, make the compatibility between you both work. So if uh, we see that you know in the Ashtakota matching there is a problem with the health wherein you know the couple will suffer from health problems after marriage then we tell them remedies you do this so if we see that there will be lack of attraction after marriage we have seen many marriages fade isn't it so where uh, the couple are in deep love with each other before marriage but once the marriage actually happens the luster is gone the shine is gone the love it's like totally dry and you just feel did I really marry this person I didn't even know him to be like this or I didn't even realize that this person is uh, like this so this is the kind of a thing we see off late in uh, marriages so which is why I would recommend please get a matchmaking done it really is worth it because all of you have a budget for marriage and then you will say okay I want to spend so much on jewelry so many on clothes on inviting people on catering things like that but you mainly miss out on the fact that you know you want to know whether he's the right person after all the dhoom dham effect of marriage if it doesn't last what is the point so, which is why I would always say keep some budget aside for your astrological needs, meaning to say that you first do the matchmaking, then do the remedies. So, you make sure that you have a secure life. But there are people who do argue with me and say like, um, 
come on you can't be so protective about everything life can't be just so perfect so why can't you just flow with the flow so yeah you're free to do that but what really happens is even such people come back to me when they really start suffering and they can't take it anymore and they say oh my god i thought i can manage you should have pushed me or nudged me a little more make i would have probably listened to you see um i would never do that to anybody because i can only tell you because that's what astrology is about it will show you the path uh decision of how you want to lead your life is completely yours you are a soul and you have to be respected for what you feel so i can't really like push anyone for anything but i can just tell you that you know with the so many divorce cases around the corner people signing the uh, agreements even before they get married like you know what will be the settlement if they get divorced kind of a situation right now so i feel that if there is something like that it's better to get a consultation and then and do a matchmaking be sure he's the right partner or she's the right partner and then get married and uh, another thing that i want to say is in the astrology consultation we also get to know whether you should get married or not because see some charts are so complex that uh, if they get into marriage they get into a lot of problems so then for such people we say avoid ma- marriages you just be in commitments in relationship you need a companion you don't really have to get married you can always find a companion and be happy so today is like a digital age people are so broad minded and they understand they like the space they get and they also like to give space to each other so in this space if you don't if your horoscope says marriage is not the best thing for you i think you should be bold enough to accept it and continue to be happy the way you are rather than uh you know just for societal pressure get married and get into lot of problems i suggest you don't do that so uh, in this video this is exactly what i wanted to convey to you so go for the match making uh, prevention is definitely better than cure and uh, i'd like to say that you'll be in a better position if you get a match making done so that you understand your partner better the nature of your partner better you understand your nature as well and then you can lead a very conscious life so if you know that you are the person who's going to be spoiling the relationship because of anger temperaments and you can work on your anger issues uh, if you feel that um, Uh, you are more tolerant and your husband or wife is more dominating then you could uh, probably understand and give them more space to calm down and tone down a bit so like this there are various combinations so when you actually take up a consultation we will guide you based on your chart and the uh, chart of your spouse or companion or whomever you wish to marry with this i'd like to close on this video uh, i wish you all the best for your marriage wonderful life with your companion namaste